Sean Carter. You're a coveter. I have no doubt in my mind that it was you that sent the shooter to shoot Beanie as soon as he got home. In the vibrant tapestry of 90s hip-hop, one figure stood out with a lyrical prowess that commanded respect and admiration. Lamont Coleman, known to the world as Big L, emerged from the storied streets of Harlem, carving a niche in the rap scene with his sharp wit and an unflinching portrayal of urban life. His mother was so terrified. We had the show at the TLA. I was there the second time because the first time we couldn't do it because you His rapid ascent in the hip hop hierarchy was as meteoric as it was influential, positioning him among the greats of his time. Yet beneath the sheen of his rising star lay a narrative tinged with foreboding undertones, a story that would culminate in a mystery that remains unsolved to this day. Shot him in his lung so it would make it twice as hard for him to be able to perform effectively i'm sick and tired of you sean now you big l's journey marked by its abrupt and tragic end is a poignant reminder of the ephemeral nature of life and the enduring legacy of a talent taken too soon his death shrouded in mystery, left a void in the world of hip-hop, turning him into a legend whose life story reads like the verses he masterfully crafted, profound, impactful, and hauntingly unfinished. In the heart of Harlem, a neighborhood pulsating with the rhythms of street life and the burgeoning beats of hip-hop, Lamont Coleman, later known as Big L, took his first steps into a world that would define him. Born on May 30th, 1974, into the embrace of a close-knit community. His early years were a mosaic of familial warmth, urban struggles, and the nascent sounds of a musical revolution. Check it out, y'all. This Big L Coleon representing DITC Flamboyant Records. And when I'm in Croatia, I'm checking out Top DJ Mag. You know what I mean? Harlem in the 70s and 80s was a crucible of cultural and social dynamics, a place where hardship walked hand in hand with resilience. Lamont's mother, Gilda Terry, was a pillar of strength, a woman who navigated the challenges of raising three children in a single-parent household. Despite the absence of his father, Charles Davis, who left when Lamont was young, the family found solace and support in each other and their community. Lamont, the youngest of three siblings, grew up in a world where the streets were both a playground and a classroom. His elder brother Donald and Leroy played pivotal roles in his upbringing, exposing him to the realities of life in Harlem. The family, though not affluent, was rich in love and unity. Gilda's involvement in unlicensed gambling, a common practice in the neighborhood, provided them with modest comforts, a testament to her determination to provide for her children. The seeds of Lamont's passion for music were sown early. At the age of 12, an experience that would forever change his trajectory unfolded. Donald, having acquired tickets to a run DMC concert, took Lamont along. The electrifying atmosphere, the pulsating beats, and the commanding presence of the artists left an indelible mark on the young boy. From that moment, the world of hip-hop became his calling. Lamont's foray into music began in the streets of Harlem, where freestyle battles were common. These impromptu lyrical duels were not just entertainment, they were a proving ground for aspiring artists. Lamont, with a natural flair for rhythm and rhyme, quickly made a name for himself. His style was raw, unfiltered, and reflective of the life he witnessed around him. He spoke of the struggles, the joys, and the unvarnished truth of his world. As he honed his craft, Lamont's reputation grew. He was more than just a rapper. He was a storyteller whose words painted vivid pictures of life in Harlem. His talent caught the attention of Lord Finesse, a prominent figure in the hip-hop community, during an autograph session. This chance encounter would be the catalyst for Lamont's transformation into Big L, a name that would soon resonate in the corridors of hip-hop fame. Big L's early years were a blend of personal challenges and artistic triumphs. His journey from the streets of Harlem to the studios of New York was a testament to his talent and tenacity. In these formative years, he laid the foundation for a career that would see him rise to become one of the most influential voices in hip-hop. His lyrics, a tapestry of his experiences and observations, were a mirror to the life he and many others lived. They were real, relatable, and resonated with a raw honesty that would become his signature. As the 90s dawned, Big L stood on the precipice of greatness, his eyes set on a future filled with promise and potential. Little did he know that his path would be as tumultuous as it was brilliant, a journey marked by soaring highs and devastating lows. As the 1990s dawned, 
a new voice emerged from the streets of Harlem, ready to etch its mark on the world of hip-hop. Big L, with his distinctive style and unapologetic honesty, began to carve out a space in an industry that was rapidly evolving. His journey from a local wordsmith to a national sensation was a testament to his extraordinary talent and the unique perspective he brought to the genre. Big L's entry into the professional world of hip-hop was marked by his association with the Diggin' in the Crates crew, DITC, a collective of rappers, DJs, and producers from the Bronx. This affiliation not only honed his skills, but also placed him in the midst of some of the era's most influential artists. His ability to blend complex narratives with a smooth, rhythmic flow quickly made him a standout member of the group. In 1995, Big L's debut album, Lifestyles O.V. to Poor and Dangerous, hit the shelves. The album was a raw, unfiltered portrayal of life in Harlem, delivered through Big L's masterful lyricism. Tracks like Put It On and MVP, became instant classics, showcasing his ability to weave intricate stories with a compelling cadence. The album, though not a commercial blockbuster, was a critical success and cemented Big L's reputation as a formidable lyricist. Big L's style was a blend of street-smart narratives and clever wordplay. His lyrics were a reflection of his life experiences, filled with vivid descriptions of urban life. He had a unique ability to turn phrases, delivering lines that were both thought-provoking and impactful. His skill in storytelling was evident in tracks like Street Struck, where he explored the realities of street life and its consequences. The influence of Big L's music extended beyond the boundaries of Harlem. He was not just a product of his environment, he was a voice for it. His ability to articulate the struggles and aspirations of urban life resonated with audiences far and wide. He became an emblem of the raw, unvarnished truth of the streets, a role model for aspiring artists who saw in him a reflection of their own experiences. Big L's impact on hip-hop was also marked by his contributions to the horrorcore subgenre. His track, Devil's Son is often cited as one of the earliest examples of this style, which combined hardcore rap with horror-themed lyric. The song was controversial for its graphic content, but it showcased Big L's willingness to push boundaries and explore new creative avenues. Despite the success of his debut album, Big L remained true to his roots. He continued to participate in freestyle battles, honing his craft and maintaining his connection to the grassroots of hip-hop. His presence in the rap battle scene was a reminder of his commitment to the art form and his respect for its origins. As the mid-90s approached, Big L's star continued to rise. He collaborated with other artists, both within and outside the DITC, further expanding his influence in the hip-hop community. His collaborations were not just musical partnerships, they were a fusion of different styles and perspectives, each enhancing the other. Big L's early career was a period of artistic growth and recognition. He had not only established himself as a formidable presence in the hip-hop world, but had also begun to influence the direction of the genre. His lyrics spoke to the realities of urban life, his style was innovative, and his impact was undeniable. As he looked to the future, the possibilities seemed endless. Little did he know that his journey would take a turn that would forever alter his path and leave an indelible mark on the world of hip-hop. In the dynamic landscape of 90s hip-hop, Big L's presence was not just felt through his music but also through his interactions with other giants of the genre. His relationships with fellow artists, marked by mutual respect and artistic camaraderie, played a pivotal role in shaping his career and legacy. One of the most legendary moments in Big L's career was his rap battle with Jay-Z, a face-off that has since become a part of hip-hop folklore. This encounter wasn't just a competition of skills, it was a meeting of minds, a clash of lyrical titans that would go down in history. The battle took place on the streets of Harlem, Big L's home turf, a fitting backdrop for a showdown of this magnitude. The encounter with Jay-Z was a testament to Big L's prowess as a freestyle artist. Witnesses to the battle recall a fierce exchange of verses, with each rapper pushing the other to their limits. While there was no declared winner, the battle was a display of mutual respect and admiration. Jay-Z, already making waves in the hip-hop scene, met his match in Big L, whose sharp wit and rapid-fire delivery were on full display. This battle was more than just a momentary clash. It was the beginning of a lasting relationship between the two artists. Big L's respect for Jay-Z's talent was evident, and the feeling was mutual. Jay-Z was not the only prominent figure in the hip-hop community to recognize Big L's talent. His interactions with other artists, including those within the DITC crew, were marked by a shared passion for the art form and a collective pursuit of excellence. 
Big L's collaborations extended beyond rap battles and crew affiliations. He was known for his willingness to work with a diverse range of artists, bringing his unique style to various collaborations. These partnerships were not just about making music. They were about exchanging ideas, blending different styles, and pushing the boundaries of hip-hop. The impact of these relationships on Big L's career was significant. They provided him with platforms to showcase his talent to wider audiences and helped cement his reputation as a versatile and formidable artist. His collaborations were a reflection of his ability to adapt and thrive in different musical settings, further solidifying his place in the hip-hop world. Big L's rapport with other artists was also evident in his role as a mentor and influencer. He was known for his willingness to support and guide emerging artists, sharing his knowledge and experience with the next generation of rappers. His influence extended beyond his immediate circle, inspiring countless artists who saw in him a model of artistic integrity and excellence. As Big L's career progressed, his reputation as a skilled lyricist and a respected figure in the hip-hop community continued to grow. His rap battle with Jay-Z, along with his other collaborations, showcased his talent and solidified his status as a key player in the genre. These encounters, marked by respect and mutual admiration, were a reflection of Big L's commitment to his craft and his influence on the world of hip-hop. The release of Big L's debut album, Lifestyle's O.V. to Poor and Dangerous, in 1995, was a pivotal moment in his career. The album was a raw and unfiltered portrayal of life in Harlem, delivered through Big L's masterful lyricism. It featured tracks like Put It On and MVP, which showcased his unique storytelling ability and his skill in crafting intricate rhymes. The album was critically acclaimed for its authentic depiction of urban life and its lyrical prowess. However, Lifestyle's O.V. to Poor and Dangerous faced challenges in terms of commercial success. Despite its critical acclaim, the album did not achieve significant commercial breakthrough. It debuted at number 149 on the Billboard 200, a reflection of the tough landscape of the music industry and the challenges faced by artists trying to break into the mainstream. One of the key challenges for Big L was navigating the complexities of the music industry. His relationship with Columbia Records, the label that released his debut album, was fraught with difficulties. The label's vision often clashed with Big L's artistic direction, particularly his unapologetic portrayal of street life and his raw lyrical style. This tension ultimately led to Big L parting ways with Columbia Records, a decision that marked a significant turning point in his career. Despite these challenges, Big L's debut album had a lasting impact on the hip-hop genre. It was hailed as a classic by many fans and critics, celebrated for its authentic representation of the hip-hop ethos and its influence on the genre. The album's raw depiction of life in Harlem resonated with audiences, and its lyrical complexity set a high bar for aspiring rappers. Big L's impact on hip-hop was further solidified by his contributions to the horrorcore subgenre. His track Devil's Son from the album is often cited as one of the earliest examples of horrorcore, a style that combined hardcore rap with horror-themed lyrics. This contribution showcased Big L's willingness to experiment with different styles and push the boundaries of hip-hop. Big L's journey in the music industry was a reflection of his resilience and his dedication to his art. He navigated the challenges with determination, staying true to his vision and his roots. His debut album, though not a commercial success, was a testament to his talent and his impact on the genre. It remains a significant work in the history of hip-hop, a reminder of Big L's skill as a lyricist and his influence on the music he loved. The untimely death of Big L on February 15, 1999, sent shockwaves through the hip-hop community and beyond. His murder, on the streets of Harlem that had nurtured his talent, was a tragic end to a life brimming with potential. The circumstances surrounding his death were shrouded in mystery and speculation, leaving more questions than answers. Big L was fatally shot nine times in a drive-by shooting near his childhood home on 139th Street and Lenox Avenue, the very place that had been the cradle of his artistic beginnings. The brutality and suddenness of the attack left his family, friends, and fans reeling. The hip-hop world mourned the loss of not just an artist, but a visionary whose impact on the genre was profound. In the aftermath of his death, numerous theories emerged, attempting to piece together the events that led to this tragic moment. 
One prevailing theory suggested that the murder was a case of mistaken identity or a retaliatory act aimed at his older brother Lee. Lee was known to have had his own troubles with the law and was speculated to have made enemies who could not reach him directly. Another theory proposed that Big L's death was linked to his own involvement in the streets. Despite his success in the music industry, it was rumored that he had connections with local gangs and was involved in activities beyond his music career. This theory suggested that his murder was a consequence of these alleged associations, a tragic end to a life caught between the worlds of music and the harsh realities of street life. The investigation into Big L's murder was fraught with challenges. The reluctance of witnesses to come forward and the lack of concrete evidence made it difficult for authorities to make any significant headway. Gerard Woodley, a childhood friend of Big L and a suspect in the case, was arrested but later released due to insufficient evidence. The case grew cold, leaving a cloud of uncertainty over the exact motives and perpetrators of the crime. The unsolved nature of Big L's murder added a layer of intrigue to his legacy. He became a symbol of the dangers that often accompany life in the inner city, and his death served as a stark reminder of the fragility of life. The mystery surrounding his murder has been the subject of much speculation and discussion, both within the hip-hop community and in the media. Amidst the theories and speculations, the legacy of Big L's life and career in hip-hop remains a focal point. His legendary rap battle with Jay-Z in Harlem is a significant part of his story, highlighting his prowess as a lyricist and his status in the hip-hop community. As detailed in beats-rhymes-lists.com, this epic battle took place before Big L brought Jay-Z to the Stretch Armstrong and Bobito show in 1995 for their iconic freestyle session. The battle, which occurred on Big L's home turf in Harlem, was a testament to both rappers' skills and has become a legendary event in hip-hop history. Lord Finesse, who discovered Big L and added him to his diggin' in the Crates crew, recalled the battle, noting its significance and the mutual respect between the two artists. This encounter was more than a competition. It was a meeting of two of the most talented rappers of their time, each leaving an indelible mark on the other and on the hip-hop community at large. The tragic end of Big L's life remains a poignant chapter in the history of hip-hop. His death, shrouded in mystery and marked by unfulfilled potential, is a reminder of the impact one individual can have on a genre and the indelible mark they can leave on the world. His battle with Jay-Z, along with his music and influence, continues to resonate, cementing his legacy as a pivotal figure in the evolution of hip-hop. The aftermath of Big L's untimely death reverberated far beyond the streets of Harlem, leaving a profound impact on the hip-hop community and music lovers worldwide. His passing was not just the loss of a talented artist, it was the extinguishing of a bright light in the world of music, a voice that had the power to influence and inspire. In the wake of his death, the hip-hop community came together to mourn and celebrate the life of Big L tributes poured in from fans, fellow artists, and industry insiders, all echoing a similar sentiment of loss and admiration. The shock of his sudden death was compounded by the unsolved nature of his murder, adding a layer of mystery and intrigue to his already compelling narrative. Big L's legacy in the world of hip-hop is multifaceted. As an artist, he was revered for his lyrical prowess, his ability to weave complex narratives, and his unflinching portrayal of urban life. His debut album, Lifestyles Ovi to Poor and Dangerous, though not a commercial success, became a cult classic, celebrated for its raw energy and lyrical depth. His style influenced a generation of rappers, setting a high bar for lyrical skill and storytelling in music. Beyond his music, Big L's impact was felt in the community he represented. He was a product of Harlem, and his music was a reflection of the life he and many others lived. His untimely death brought attention to the challenges and dangers of inner city life, highlighting the need for change and the importance of providing opportunities for young, talented individuals in these communities. The legacy of Big L also extends to the broader narrative of hip-hop and its evolution. He was part of a wave of artists who brought a new level of lyrical sophistication to the genre, pushing the boundaries of what rap could be. His influence can be seen in the works of subsequent artists who cite him as an inspiration, a testament to his enduring impact on the genre. Big L's death also sparked conversations about the nature of fame, the challenges faced by artists in the music industry, and the often precarious balance between artistic integrity and commercial success. 
His story is a reminder of the potential pitfalls of the music industry and the importance of supporting artists in their creative endeavors. Two decades after his death, Big L's music continues to resonate with fans old and new. His albums are revisited by those who grew up with his music and discovered by new generations of hip-hop enthusiasts. His influence is evident in the works of contemporary artists, and his contributions to the genre are regularly acknowledged in discussions about the greatest rappers of all time. The legacy of Big L is a complex tapestry of talent, tragedy, and enduring influence. His life and career, though tragically cut short, left an indelible mark on the world of hip-hop and music at large. He remains a beloved figure in the genre, a symbol of lyrical excellence, and a voice that continues to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. The murder of Big L on the streets of Harlem in 1999 remains one of hip-hop's most enduring mysteries. The investigation into his death unfolded amidst a backdrop of grief, unanswered questions, and a community grappling with the loss of one of its brightest stars. This unsolved case not only robbed the hip-hop world of a seminal figure, but also left a profound void in the hearts of his family, friends, and fans. In the immediate aftermath of the shooting, the New York City Police Department launched an investigation, but it was met with significant challenges. The reluctance of witnesses to come forward, a common issue in cases involving street violence, severely hampered the progress of the investigation. The code of silence that often pervades communities affected by such violence made it difficult for authorities to gather concrete evidence or reliable testimonies. Gerard Woodley, one of Big L's childhood friends, emerged as a primary suspect in the case. The police speculated that the murder might have been a retaliation for something Big L's brother Lee had done or Woodley believed he had done. However, due to a lack of conclusive evidence, Woodley was released and the case eventually went cold. This development added to the frustration and pain of Big L's loved ones, who longed for closure and justice. The theories surrounding Big L's murder were numerous and varied. Some speculated that his death was linked to his own alleged involvement in the streets, while others believed it was a case of mistaken identity or a targeted attack related to his brother's activities. The lack of resolution led to widespread speculation and rumor, which only added to the mystery and complexity of the case. Big L's murder highlighted the broader issues of violence and crime in inner-city communities. His death became a symbol of the dangers that young, talented individuals face in such environments, where potential and promise are often overshadowed by the realities of street life. The tragedy brought attention to the need for change in these communities, emphasizing the importance of providing opportunities and support to help young people escape the cycle of violence. The impact of Big L's death on his family was profound. They not only had to cope with the loss of a loved one, but also with the public nature of his death and the subsequent media attention. The unsolved nature of the case added to their anguish, leaving them with lingering questions and a sense of injustice. The tragedy was a stark reminder of the personal toll that such incidents take on the families of the victims. In the hip-hop community, Big L's death was a sobering reminder of the fragility of life and the often precarious nature of fame and success in the music industry. His murder, along with those of other prominent figures in hip-hop, underscored the genre's complex relationship with the streets and the challenges artists face in navigating this dynamic. The legacy of Big L in the years following his death has been marked by a continued reverence for his talent and contributions to hip-hop. Posthumous releases and tributes have kept his memory alive, introducing his music to new generations of fans. His influence on the genre is evident in the works of contemporary artists who cite him as an inspiration. The unsolved murder of Big L also sparked discussions about the criminal justice system and its handling of cases involving young black men in inner city communities. The lack of closure in his case is a painful reminder of the many similar cases that remain unresolved, leaving families and communities without answers. Two decades after his death, Big L's presence in hip-hop is still palpable. His story is often revisited in documentaries, books, and discussions about the genre's history. The mystery surrounding his death continues to intrigue and sadden fans, but it is his music and legacy that endure as his most significant contributions. The enduring mystery of Big L's murder is a complex tapestry of theories, emotions, and unanswered questions. It reflects the broader challenges faced by communities plagued by violence and the often tragic fates of those who rise from these environments to achieve greatness. Big L's legacy, however, transcends the circumstances of his death, cementing his place as a pivotal figure in the history of hip-hop 
and a voice that continues to resonate with authenticity and power. As the narrative of Big L's life and untimely death concludes, we are left to reflect on the profound impact he had on hip-hop and the enduring legacy he left behind. Big L's story is not just a tale of talent and tragedy, but also a poignant reminder of the transformative power of music and the resilience of the human spirit. In the years since his passing, Big L's influence has continued to resonate within the hip-hop community and beyond. His innovative lyrical style, marked by its complexity and depth, has inspired a new generation of artists who see in him a pioneer who pushed the boundaries of storytelling in music. His album, Lifestyles O.V. De Poor and Dangerous, remains a seminal work, celebrated for its raw portrayal of urban life and its contribution to the evolution of the genre. Big L's death, though shrouded in mystery, has not overshadowed his contributions to music. Instead, it has amplified his legacy, turning him into a symbol of unfulfilled potential and a reminder of the impact one individual can have on an art form. His life story, marked by its highs and lows, its triumphs and challenges, continues to inspire and captivate those who discover his music. As we look back on the life of Big L, we are reminded of the power of art to transcend circumstances, to give voice to the voiceless, and to leave a lasting imprint on the world. His journey from the streets of Harlem to the heights of hip-hop fame is a testament to his talent, his determination, and his enduring influence. Big L's legacy is not defined by the mystery of his death, but by the indelible mark he left on hip-hop. He remains a beloved figure in the genre, a symbol of lyrical excellence, and a voice that continues to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. In the annals of hip-hop history, Big L stands tall, a legend whose music and story continue to echo through time. That's all for the video, folks. Thanks for watching.